Good morning, good morning, good morning for whomever is watching this, whatever time. It is a beautiful Sunday morning. The Percy Jackson trailer has dropped, as you can see, you know, Percy Jackson teaser, Disney+. Plus. Um, if you haven't seen my channel before, I've done one other video on Percy Jackson. I haven't really followed, like, I follow the news religiously, but I don't actually, um, uh... I don't actually like make videos on what's going on because I feel as though there's everyone on the sun making videos about what's going on. But I did want to give my two cents on this teaser because this teaser is very well made, very well done. It gets you right into the mood of how you should expect a Percy Jackson show to feel. So I've already watched the teaser, but I'm going to go ahead and play it um, just in case people who are watching this for the first time haven't seen it yet, which I highly doubt. Like if you're watching it for the first time, why are you here? But, all right, we're going to play it, we're going to watch it, and then after we're done watching it, we're going to break it down bit by bit, scene by scene, frame by frame. It's going to be amazing. So, here we go. Already Camp Half-Blood. Oh, walk. I didn't want to be a Half-Blood. Famous line. Famous line. Being a Half-Blood is dangerous. Up the beads. Oh, hold it's on, scary. I'm not going to break it down. Most of the time, it Loving the reflection. Killed. Loving it. If you think you might be a little sure. my advice is turn away while you still can. Mm -hmm. Believe whatever lie your mom Ooh, or dad told please. you about your birth. Try to live a normal life. Ah, oh, Captain Six looks so good. You are, they'll sense it too. Ah, oh, Captain Three. And they'll come for you. Don't say I didn't warn you. chills all right all right ooh, ooh. okay 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 so that's a trailer i'm sorry i just need i just need that last little bit don't say i didn't warn you it's just, just ooh, ooh, hold on hold on that wasn't it that wasn't it here it is hold on don't say i didn't warn you let's go let's go all right all right all right, all right. Keeping the nerd in, keeping the nerd in. All right, so that was the trailer. Um, fantastic, wonderful. Walker did a really good job, you guys. He is Percy, just the swaggering walk. All right, so I'm, I'm breaking it down before I'm breaking it down. This is like peak excitement for me right now, okay? Love this series. Okay, so we're going to start with the introduction, which is obviously Camp Half-Blood. Okay. I didn't want to be And asked. so here we have the we have the arrows like the signs directing you to places in Camp Half Blood. Um as you can see right here, some of these signs are in Greek lettering. So you know, that's like that Greek callback to the Greek gods, of course. Um so we have the stables. We have the archery um the archery ring. I think it's called the archery ring or well, the archery field. I can't quite remember. It's been a while. It's been a minute. Um, and then the very last one is going to fade out. I'm going to try to catch it real fast. Camp Cabins. So I'm that is intriguing to me um, because I always thought like maybe the cabins would be closer to, you know, the archery field. But I don't know why I would think that. That doesn't make any sense. Um, of course, the stables, moving back, the stables Look, are where we're going to have like want to all the pegasi and things of that nature. Like that's where Blackjack's going to go when we get him. Um, if you don't know who Blackjack is, oh, wait till you meet that person. I mean, that that Pegasus. Let me be specific. Um, stables are where we'll hold, hold Blackjack at. It's going to be fantastic. I can't wait to see this. I don't think they'll show the stables in the show. They might. Hmm. I'm really thinking about it. There's real, no there's no reason not to. So they might show the stables. It's a toss up. They're definitely going to show the archery field. Like there is no way because that is one of so the archery fields is one of the places where Percy bonds with Cabin. Um, I can't remember their name. I can't remember their number. But but the Hermes Cabin. I'm bad with the cabin numbers. All right, y'all. I'm really bad with the cabin numbers. Um, but that's one of the places he bonds with the Hermes Cabin. Um, when he is an unclaimed. And just for context, all this is probably, like, this whole scene, not the dialogue. The dialogue is probably from the introduction of the show. But all this that we're seeing, all of this is probably takes place um, after Percy's been claimed by Poseidon. Because it just, ma it just makes sense for the walk up to Cabin 3. It, 
It just makes complete sense. Dang. The cabins are that way. Half blood is dangerous. Um, and here we have the infamous bead necklace. As you can see, Percy's necklace is empty. So the way the Percy Jackson series works, if you're new to it, is that at the end of each summer, a camper gets a bead for their necklace that depicts what event happened that summer. Um, it is just like a, you know, a sign of you that you survived to the next some to, for the next year because a lot of half bloods don't live um stay alive that long they die at young ages and the beads are just a way for them to you know guess you know wear that badge of honor that badge of pride of how long they've been at camp half blood how long they've known they've been a half blood kirby i mean kirby Percy's, Jesus Christ, Percy's is obviously empty because he just got here. He just got to Camp Half-Blood. So he's fresh, new, brand new Half-Blood. But the issue with this scene that I'm having is this seems as though... Th I'm thinking that this is in cabin, um, in the Hermes cabin. And the reason I'm thinking this is, number one, Percy does not have a Camp Half-Blood shirt yet. That obviously, you know, isn't by itself isn't you know shocking or like really enough to predict that but at the same time if you look at these beds look how close they are together look at the toiletries on this one um and just the brownish color back here and the fact that he's giving the book bag with his new bead necklace that he is going to put on i'm sorry let me just close notifications on my phone there we go <clears throat> sorry about that um this obviously for me is screams Percy's just arrived at Camp Half Blood. He Sally just got, you know, whisked away. I don't want to spoil too much, but Sally is no longer with him. And he is just getting his bead necklace for the first time in the Hermes cabin. Also, another added bonus, the bedroll. The bedroll, very iconic for like the Hermes cabin because the way the Hermes, ca Hermes cabin works is that Hermes is the god of travelers. Well, he's the god of messengers, but also travelers and also thieves. There's like a, yeah, he has the whole rap sheet. But his cabin is known for taking in unclaimed children. Unclaimed children, as we all know, are children who have not been claimed by their godly parent. And they have, they have no way of going to their respective cabin. See, if I'm a daughter of um, uh, Athena... I have no way of knowing that I'm a daughter of Athena until Athena has claimed me. So I will probably be staying at the Hermes cabin. Like Percy is right now. He is currently unclaimed. That's scary. Now this is interesting. All right, I'm gonna Most let it keep going. I'm gonna let it keep going for a little bit. Killed. So I hope y'all, I hope y'all noticed that. So there is a pond. Um, it could be a river. It could be a pond. I'm thinking it's a pond. It's I don't scary. think it's a river because it's not running. The river is not running. Rivers normally run in a direction either this way or that way or forward or back. doesn't matter. This water seems stationary. It seems almost stagnant. Not like dirty stagnant. It just seems as though it's not moving. And that's why I think it's a pond. I think that... So the cabins are normally in a U shape. I don't know if they're going to stay with that. But I think that this pond is probably like in the middle of the U shape. Um, that will separate the cabins. It makes for a really good aesthetic. And maybe... No, they won't. I was going to say maybe they'll do the Clarice scene instead of in the bathrooms in the pond. I don't think so because the actress, Dior, she's already said that she was excited for the bathroom scene. So they probably already did the bathroom scene. So this is a good... This is actually interesting that they changed the layout of Camp Half-Blood. I'm all for it, 100%. Uh, I enjoy, you know, just adding a little spice to the show, something for the readers who have already read the books hundreds and thousands of times, something new to look at, because this is our first time, minus the movies, this is our first time getting an actual, actual look at Camp Half-Blood, like, ooh, I'm excited, all right, we're keep, we're gonna go, we're gonna go, looks like he has Most a backpack on his back, gets you killed. So there are other cabins, okay, let's gush about the shirt you know it's coming it is coming it is amazing look at it all right just the circular motion all for it i did not expect because on all because the way the books described it and the way they were drawn in the official art books they were just like camp half blood um uh you know long island sound and then the pegasus underneath it no this 
whoever designed these shirts deserves like a huge high five pat on the back because it is really unique and it's really eye catching and it and it feels as though it will it's not just like a normal old you know shirt you can just make it feels like someone actually put time and effort into this because the shirt also looks faded number one the shirt looks faded if you can see here lighter orange lighter orange here darker orange here because the shirts are you know used they hand them down from camper to camper most of the time um as well as this right here his shirt is ripped this had to have been taking place after capture the flag um because Clarice cuts him I'm not sure where but I'm almost certain she, Clarice cuts him with her spear and then he does the whole like you know walking into the water it bring gives him energy um but back to the shirt it's just a circular motion just really fantastic really uh, appealing these um shapes really look I can't put my finger on it. I can't describe why it looks Greek and I cannot for the life of me tell you why it looks Greek the Pegasus can't see much of it, but from what I'm seeing right here, looks fantastic. I love the faded black. I love the faded shirt because Percy's, per, the, the Camp Half Blood campers don't always get new stuff. That's like the thing with Percy Jackson. It's like hand me down after hand me down. Here's an old bedroll. Here's like an old um, book bag that I had. Is because they're they're scrapping they're, they're scrappy they're trying to survive and they they can't just go you know and buy a new shirt off Amazon if you get that reference um, Heroes of Olympus awesome but again the circular motion love it also the bead necklace fantastic no beads as again it's really prominent really showing and the book bag looks fine um, I'm guessing the book bag is what he got from Hermes cabin. And it probably has all his, like, belongings, including the minotaur horn that he's going to get. Oops. I said I didn't want to spoil much. Ah, you know, it's fine. It's it's just the first, like, two episodes, so... I, I'll, I'll try to control my excitement. I'm sorry. Do you think you might be one of us? My advice is... The owl's obviously a sign of Athena. She is... Athena... Uh, the owl is Athena's sacred animal. Athena is the goddess of wisdom and the mother to one of our three heroes, Annabeth Chase. Turn away while you still can whatever lie all right all right okay all right so aries cabin looks fire aries cabin looks amazing oh my god it looks so cool and clarice looks so like just awesome she looks so intimidating she looks so strong and this is one move that Dior does right here where she just props her foot up boom it feels as it really feels as though she's done this game hundreds of times it feels as though she's a veteran here and Dior, like i wish i could zoom in on her face her face is just like shrouded in darkness shrouded in anger because that's like who clarice is and she like really brought this character to life she looks so intimidating and also her electric spear that she got from her father it looks fantastic and I just, Aries cabin looks good. I cannot stress the camel pants, signature of Clarice LaRue. Oh my God, fantastic. And then we have more other campers and I really I really like how we have the uh, the other Aries cabin members. Um, she looks a little young. She might be probably eight or nine, but again, Half-Bloods are all like, you know, un they all come here at different times, different ages and, and things of that nature. She looks like she ready to take someone down. This girl right here. Uh, all the energy. Yes, yes, queen. Yes, thank you. Up here in the back is just menacing. Just having Aries Cabin just in the background, in the foreground, everywhere, anywhere that they can be. That uh, it's. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm just like lost for words how good Aries Cabin looks. Um, and again, Dwar is leading this charge. She looks... Like, oh my, just, okay, just I want you to pay close attention to how she holds her spear. It really looks like she's been doing this for ages. I'm sure she practiced this. I'm almost certain that Dwar practiced just the swagger walk up with the shield. I mean, with the shield, with the with the spear. Just watch her fingers right here. Oh Boom, right there. Like, oh, just like, like she's just confident. She's ready. She's already done this once. She's gonna. She's done this more than once. She's. This is not her first rodeo. She is ready to take down this new upstart, Percy Jackson, and get her revenge for what happened in the bathrooms. Um, there was another comment that I wanted to make. This seems as though I am. This seems as though that they're getting ready at the starting line. Either Percy's coming in and they're mean. They're like uh, 
they're like mean eyeballing him like they're eyeballing him like sizing him up like you're like we're coming for you jackson or this is like them getting ready to like start the actual game that's why we're getting this epic shot um no flag of course because the flags are hidden somewhere deeper in the woods um i kind of wish we would have seen um athena cabin as well because i think athena teamed up with hermes cabin i'm trying to they teamed up with hermes cabin and I think Hephaestus' cabin teamed up with Ares' cabin. I could be wrong. Again, it's been a while since I read. But the shields look good. The armor look, looks fantastic. It looks actually like real metal. Um, they had some leaked images of campers wearing leather-esque armor. And people were worried. I am not worried. at. I was not worried at all. And after this, I'm definitely not worried anymore. Um, and... For anyone criticizing the way the armor looks like, you know, oh, they're wearing like khakis and a shirt and on with armor. Yeah, that's how they described it in the books. That's that's literally how they described it in the books. Fantastic chef's kiss. Moving on to the next um, part of the trailer. Try to live a normal life. Okay, so here we have so here we have um cabin six. This is I believe Athena's cabin. This is where Annabeth is from. And I thought that this was Demeter's cabin. But I'm seeing whispers online that this might be, over here, that this one might be uh, Hermes Cabin. Which wouldn't make sense because the female gods and the male gods are separate, like in the U. They're, they're on separate sides of the U. But the reason people think that this is Hermes Cabin is because we have what looks like Luke right here, um, played by his fantastic actor. I can't remember his name right now. Um, he is fantastic though. He, I follow him on social. He's awesome. And then what looks like to be the Stoll brothers right here. Um, just watching, you know, Percy make that walk. And this walk is very significant for the story. This is the walk that Percy is making after he's been claimed, um, as the son of Poseidon. Life. He's making the walk to cabin three. Now, if you know Percy, Percy did not want to he wanted to be claimed in a normal cabin and him when he visited the big the big three cabins um which by not the big three gods like you know he visited zeus's he visited hera's and he visited poseidon's and he said it just feels cold feels lonely feels empty he would not ever want to live here but now he has to make that walk to live in that place by himself and everyone's kind of staring at him in awe for the sheer fact that he should not exist he the gods made a promise i'm not going to get too much into that promise on why they made the promise but they made a promise to not have any more children the three gods meaning zeus hades and poseidon and the fact that percy exists is like the real big issue of not just the show the entire series like from the first book to the fifth book like that that's the big whole thing like percy should not exist but he does and so he's making that walk. Because once you know what you are. Um, Cabin Three looks amazing, by the way. I love the sea, the the sea green bluish kind of um, sea sea green bluish texture up here. You can see the waves rippling, and like the cute little number three, a like little triton, looks really good. Looks really fantastic. I love how the sun is just hitting. I think that this was filmed on a soundstage um for the sheer fact it's just it looks just so beautiful that i don't think natural lighting can catch like this amazing beautiful shot i could be wrong but i think it was made on that um new uh sound shades they, the sound stage they used to record the mandalorian and um if y'all want me to do a video on that sound stage i can because they just introduced like footage for that from the thor love and Th love and thunder assemble i watched the heck out of that i love behind the scenes things um, I want to back it up a little bit. I'm sorry, because I forgot to even just break down Athena Cab the, the, the Athena Cabin's trailer. Um, looks fantastic. Looks beautiful. As you can see up here, just the architecture alone. The architecture alone looks phenomenal. And if Athena's Cabin did not have good architecture, it pointless. No reason to, like, why, why, why are we even here if it doesn't have good architecture? This one looks a little more run down, a little more um, shagging. That's why I think it could be Hermes' cabin. It really could be, but I really want to say it's Demeter's cabin. 
Um, I have no, I have no truth. I have no basis on it. Um, looks really good. Looks really fantastic. Um, again, the campers look amazing. The campers, like, they came, they were giving an assignment, and they knew exactly how to, you know, execute because it. once you know what you are, they'll sense it too. Just the quiet walk up for me. It's just, it's just really amazing. It's really well done. It's really well, well photographed. Um, the cinematography is amazing. The audio, I haven't talked about this. The, the sound and audio and narrative mixture for this trailer is really good because whenever I heard the line, I never wanted to be a half-blood, um, I always thought it as just like, you know, a warning, like a normal warning, like, hey, you know, close the book, start reading, you know, live your life. But watching this trailer, it feels more ominous than I envisioned. It feels like Percy's really just like trying to save someone's life it's like hey if you think you're a half-blood please just go the other way like this is not this is not desirable this is not what you want this is really bad this is really terrifying and i'm really loving it because it makes me appreciate just how much effort they put into the show they're making me feel emotions new emotions for a monologue that i've read hundreds of times I just never, it, it feels so ominous. The music just swells in the background. It makes, it, it terrifies me a little bit. And I'm just like, ooh, like, I, I, do I want to be Half-Blood? Do I want to go through this? Because I always imagine, you know, Camp Half-Blood, this amazing, glamorous, fun place to just go gallivanting around the woods with the sword. But here, everyone looks sad. Everyone looks sad. Everyone looks like they're going through stuff. And that actually, you know, is really complimentary to how the Percy Jackson um, series is. Everyone in the cabins are going through stuff. They're all worried, like, are they going to survive? Are they going to die? And am I going to get a quest today? Do my parents care about me? And all these thoughts are going through their minds. And they're, like, between the ages of 7 and 18. Like, they're going through all this at, like, a young age. And it makes you kind of feel bitter. It makes you kind of feel angry. It makes you kind of feel hurt and lost. And those are all emotions that are very important to the enemy faction of this series. And I'm really loving just the dialogue, the music, and I'm loving how they're presenting it. It's so fantastic. I'll come for you. Don't say I didn't warn you. All right, now this scene. Okay, this scene, I know exactly where this scene is. And I know exactly um, why they chose this scene. They chose the scene to give you like that air of mystery, but this is probably the scene where um, the car, okay. Again, I don't wanna spoil too much. I'm gonna have to spoil a little bit. This is the scene where the car, where Gabe's car gets totaled and um, Percy hears something in the distance, in the rain. And so he stands up and he's trying to look through the rain. And I think they're probably gonna cut to the monster that he's looking at. But this is definitely like the scene right before you know him and sally get separated this is definitely that scene because it's just it just makes sense there's no other place in the story where this scene would fit where it would make sense and i'm glad that they're showing like different snippets of the first two episodes oh you could just even see like walker as a really good just like death stare he has a really good just like ominous like curious like what is happening here He's a really good actor, really proud of him. He's really owning this role. And you can just see in his face that it is curiosity and it's also like a smidgen of fear. Um, it's like um, if you're walking like in the, like you're walking down Central Park at night and you hear rustling and you're like, what is that? What? Is, is something out there? What, what am I looking for? And that's like the vibe that is giving and I'm loving it. Uh, the title screen looks fantastic. It looks wonderful, and I'm loving it. I'm loving just the Trident and how they're using the Trident. So they're using the Trident right here, and they're using, like, the line to cut through the O. Just, to, oh, it looks fantastic. The, the, it looks like it's, it looks like it's metal, but at the same time, it looks like it could be stone. And we have, like, the official title of the show, Percy Jackson and the Olympians. This is, like, the actual official, official, like, title drop. Because, you know, fans have already known the title. But this is, like, so that the rest of, the, you know, the world can finally know, hey, this is Percy Jackson. And this is 
um, this is the new name we're going by, Percy Jackson and the Olympians. So, and it's not even like Percy Jackson the Lightning Thief. No, it's not Percy Jackson the Lightning Thief. It's Percy Jackson and the Olympians because the story is probably going to follow all five books. So you can't call, like, you don't want to mislabel the seasons because it's going to confuse people. Like, let's say I'm getting to the show and I want to watch the show from beginning to end. Season one, Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief. Is season two, Percy Jackson and the Titan's Curse. Is it season two, Percy Jackson and the Burning Maze? Like, it's confusion. So it's best to keep it simple. Keep it just Percy Jackson and the Olympians. And if they ever go into the Heroes of Olympus series, it's going to be, um, it probably won't even be called Percy Jackson. I wonder if they will call it Percy Jackson and the Heroes of Olympus. Or they'll just call it Heroes of Olympus. I feel as though they could just call it Heroes of Olympus. Because it, Heroes of, the HOA, um, the HOA, H, um, the Heroes of Olympus books don't even feel like they're Percy Central. They feel like they're all of the, um, of the seven central I, i'm not going to get too far into that um again look me looking far into the future looking so far into the future that i'm just i know it's going to do good i know we're going to do good i know season two is going to like season two is going to freaking blow out the water i know season three if if like, season three gets made into a series we're going to hit the ground running there will be no stopping there will be no slowing down we're going like mm, mm, mm. season three is that book where it just ties it all together it's going to be amazing um and yeah, that's it. That's the trailer. Looks really good. And I, I, I love what Disney Plus has. Oh, you must be 18 older to subscribe if children aren't watching. Hey kids, hey kids, you need to, you need to be over the age 18 to subscribe to Disney Plus. Um, it's really good. It's really fantastic. And I really loved, I really love the way that they are um, introducing um, this series because a lot of people, a lot of adults who were young and watched the movies are going to think, oh, Percy Jackson is just, you know, like a fun little adventure. Um, they think that, um, that, oh, it's whatever, you know, it's just fun, goofy. It is goofy, but it is serious. And it is literally, this trailer is their introduction saying, hey, remember those movies from all those years ago? That's not us. We're not the movie. Like, we are really, like, the cap, the, the camp, camp is important. The characters are important. Why do you think that the tra the the thumbnail for the trailer um the thumbnail for the trailer sorry give me a second why do the thumbnail is not Percy it's Clarice because Percy Jackson is all about it is it is all about the characters see right here the thumbnail is Clarice it is about the characters it's not just about Perseus it is fantastic um as I've said before the trailer really knocked it out the park. Um, if I wasn't excited before, I know I'm excited now. It's going to be fantastic. Um, and again, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I hope I covered everything. I'm trying to go through. Um, oh, I also wanted to mention, like, you can see right here a little bit as I'm hovering over it. The signpost also looks faded. They did a really, Disney does this really good job at just making stuff look old. And people underestimate how good that is. Um, the armor looks faded. Armor looks faded. The shirts look faded. The cabins look faded. The signs look faded. Like Camp Half Blood is old. It's been here since the Civil War, the Revolutionary War. I think it's the Civil War. I think it's been, like Camp Half Blood's been here for a while. Granted, it's not the exact same camp that it was in the in um back during the Civil War, but it's it has history. It has rich history and. You want the set to feel like it's been lived in. You want it to feel like it's been lived in. You want to you want to make sure that everyone feels like they're natural, that they've been here for a long time. Like with Dewar, they were, um Clarice. She looks like she's been here for a long time. She's like, I know the ropes. I know what's going to happen. We're going to win Capture the Flag, and we're going to kick Percy Jackson's Katukas. <laughs> Katukas. We're going to kick his butt. Um, and that's all I have to say. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching the teaser. If y'all really like this, um, I would, you know, love to do more Percy Jackson videos in the future. Just, you know, let me know in the comments. Uh, and I will definitely get on that. I really, really love Percy Jackson. I really, really love, um, uh, like the Harry Potter series. Um, I really, really love the, uh, School of Good and Evil that's coming out. If y'all want me to, I could do a School of Good and Evil video. That one is really fantastic. And I really want to do videos on School of Good and Evil. Because if the movie doesn't mess it up, um, it's going to be a really good franchise. Um, Sophie and Agatha are, like, some of my two favorite, like, duo characters in book series. Um, it's really awesome. Really fantastic. 
but again i love all these books i love ya novels i just love going on these rabbit holes um oh and i i just want to um i just i just i just can't wait i just want to watch it now i just want to watch it now um but again if you want if you want to see more videos like this just let me know um so have a good one bye